everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and our continuing series where I review every single Capcom play system, play system dash, CPS2, and CPS3 game ever made. And today we reach the end of the line with the play system. We're taking a look at Willow because alphabetically that is the last game on the platform. And it's a little bit unfortunate that this is the last game we're talking about because I have never really clicked with this game. I know there's some people out there that really like it and they really like the movie, but for me, I've just never gotten it. Before I get too far involved there, do me a huge favor, go down below and like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, don't make me jump in the lake, and if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we have a Patreon link down there as well. But I don't have anything against Willow, the movie was fine, there's nothing really bad about the sound, about the graphics, anything like that. I just find this game incredibly difficult, and a lot of times unfairly so. We only have three hits, and at certain areas in this game it's just throwing absolutely everything at you. You can get more hits in the shop, but right at the beginning of the game it is just out to kill you, and I've already taken two deaths. One was because I forgot not to jump in the water, that was my fault, but that other death there felt a little bit like... At this point in the game, I don't really have that much energy to deal with, and this does something that I particularly do not like when arcade games do, and that's that when you die, you get sent back further on. So if there's a particular area that you're having a lot of difficulty getting through, you can't just use a credit to force your way through it, you actually have to go back and you can get stuck in this game and just want to give up. You'll see we're in the shop here and we have 706 gold, but we really don't have that much ability to buy anything. I bought an extra hit point that's going to go away the minute I get hit and that took almost 60% of my gold and the minute I get hit by anything it is 100% gone. And that's just the thing about Willow. There's nothing wrong with it. I just find it irritating. I find that I'm constantly dying and that the game by stage three is just throwing so many things at you at once that avoiding everything becomes almost impossible to the point where it feels like the game is just messing with you. But you do get some decent story that's going to kind of adhere to the movie as much as I remember it and I haven't seen it in probably well over a decade. But on to our first boss here. This isn't too difficult. If the entire game played like this, it would be great. It definitely has some... Good Ghosts and Goblins vibes, no surprise, also made by Capcom. You know, this kind of feels like the first boss from the Ghouls and Ghosts game as well. But as we move on, the game just starts picking at you. It starts poking you. It starts taunting you. It starts giving you a whole bunch of hell that almost feels unfair. And I'll talk about that more when we get to it. It's just one of those things. I can't manage to get good at this game, and I don't feel like it's based upon my skill level so much as that there's just areas where it's going to taunt you. Well, I do love these digitized little video you know, clips here from the movie just giving you a tiny bit of story. And it's not even the longest game ever, but it's just going to take you a really long time to get to the end because it's constantly going to be killing you. But you'll see here we're on stage two. We have a new character, and we still have three hit points. Who do you hit first? The guy shooting the arrow at you or the guy running at you? Well, they converge at the same time, so it almost feels like you have to take that hit. There, you're just going to a treasure chest and another enemy jumps directly down on you and hits you immediately. You have no warning it's coming. And now we're down to just one hit. We picked up a bottle there, so we have two. But had we not gotten that bottle, we would have been two thirds of the way to death and we wouldn't have even really gotten into the beginning area of the stage yet. Oh, and chandeliers fall on you. How would you know about that? Well, unless you thought about it, you just have to take the damage and kind of learn from that mistake. And that's what really irritates me about this game is that it's hurting you, it's killing you, kind of like a Kaizo Mario game. It just taunts you a little bit and saying, see, you better look out for this in the future. Now you know it's dangerous. But it feels cheap in a way where it's just trying to get a couple more credits off of you before you get too far into the game. Now, my biggest recommendation is always be buying power-ups. The gold is pretty stingy in this game, but when you have something like there, I'm able to buy a fourth hit point. It is going to be useful. But go ahead and listen to the soundtrack for a minute. I know I've kind of been uh, bagging on Willow here a little bit, but the soundtrack is quite good, and I'll be back in about a minute and tell you more about why I just can't hang with Willow. Be right back. So 
so yeah, great soundtrack, annoying gameplay, and right here, this guy jumps over me entirely, nothing touched. I went through frame by frame and checked it out, and that enemy didn't make contact with my character, but yet I still took damage, and that just starts to feel unfair. I'm not going to freeze frame it and slow it down to try to make it seem like I should be better at the game than I really am, but again, you have things coming from multiple angles, you can't jump off the cart, and those guys are going to be shooting their arrows at the same time that someone's taking a swing with their sword on the other end, and some hits just feel unavoidable. And there's three checkpoints in this wagon ride because you're going to die that often. But actually seeing the end of it can become quite difficult because, you know, we have rocks being dropped from birds. We have archers coming in. We have these giant ground rats running at us. We have archers that are shooting arcing arrows. You never know what they're going to do until they do it. And finally, after eight deaths, I was able to get to the next area in the game. And if you're actually putting quarters into this, you're going to be spending a lot of money trying to get to see the end of Willow. And I definitely do not like that. And this right here, that's uh, some interesting art for sure. I don't know about her face. The first character that we saw between stages looked a lot better than whatever this nightmare fuel of an angel or deity really is. But now that we're moving on to stage three, it's just going to be more of the same thing. And it's a bummer because this game looks great. It sounds great. It just doesn't play that fun. You'll see here that we have these two characters throwing bombs at us. Not only do the explosions hurt you, if any of that dirt touches you, you're also going to take damage. And you just end up getting stuck in situations where it feels like damage is unavoidable. You'll see here... It takes so many shots just to defeat one enemy, and you lose most of your life doing that. And the question is at the beginning, do you want more attack strength or do you want more life? You kind of need both at the same time, but you're only going to get enough gold to be able to get one up until this point, unless there's some cheat I don't know about. But you'll see they're just lobbing those bombs in from off screen, and I thought I got away from it, but the dirt actually comes up and hits me. It just feels like getting through certain areas is impossible, and what you really just want to do is avoid it. Run away from the combat, get into the shop, and now magically we'll be checkpointed past that area we couldn't deal with. And I don't really think it's a great touch when a game's saying, forget about the combat, don't fight the enemies, just try to run past them quick enough to get to the next checkpoint so you're not stuck in the same spot. But maybe I'm just being mean to this game. You tell me in the comments below. Have you played Willow? Do you like it? Are you good at it? Because I just certainly can't seem to get the hang of this game whatsoever. And even here after the shop, I just get killed by a clot of dirt. It just comes up and hits me. And there... I was still jumping forward and my momentum just stopped. I don't know why, but I feel like this game is just taunting me. And again, if you don't jump perfectly, you're dead. But there's the end of our Capcom Play System series of videos. Not sure what the wizard is doing with his hand there. It looks kind of awkward. But anyways, we will be back next Tuesday with the Capcom CP System Dash. Bye-bye.